Hey everybody and welcome to the Travel and Lotus Flower. I'm Karen and today's class is for my avid runners, um, one of which I am not. Um, I probably can't run a half a mile. But um, this class, I love this sequence. It's a really good stretch for um, the legs, the quads, the hamstrings, um, your feet. So um, we're going to kind of get everything in. But it's kind of a flow, so it's not really like a yin hold a pose for a long time. So um, we will start in child's pose at the back of the mat. And I hope you enjoy it. Oh. And we need um, props. So we need, um, I have two blocks, which I like to use because it helps me create space where I need some. And a strap. You may want a blanket um, if your knees are um, sensitive. Or I have this little um, mat here that I use, which is pretty cool and helps with um, knee pain or anything like that. So again, we'll start at the back of the mat in child's pose. So just coming down, relaxing, drawing the hips toward the heels, maybe walking the fingers out, drawing the shoulders away from the ears and down the spine. And just start coming to the breath, noticing the inhale and the exhale. Maybe finding your Ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, walk the hands over to the right. We'll start stretching out the spine and the side body. I always like to start with a tend in the spine and the side body so that we can um, take care of that. And on the next inhale, walk it back to center. And on the next inhale, walk it over to the left, breathing into that right side. And on your next inhale, walk it back to center. Just a breath. And then inhale, roll forward for modified plank. Drawing those shoulders away from the ears, the chest through, and exhale, push back for child. And inhale, roll forward. And exhale, roll back. And one last time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come up to Tabletop, hands and knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and come up for down dog. A couple of breaths here. Checking in with your hands, making sure your fingers are wide, the index fingers pointing forward. You're kind of pressing your fingertips into the mat along with the palm of the hand, or the sole of the hand arching the palm. Elbows are rotated toward the front. Inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, lower that right heel and bend the left knee. You're gently awakening the back of the leg and the hamstring down the calf. Inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, other side. Left heel down, right knee bends. Inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, both heels down. Inhale, look between the hands, and we're going to take that right foot and step it forward for a runner's lunge. Hold in here. So if you need to create more space in your runner's lunge, you can always grab your blocks and place them on each side, allowing you to come up a 
little higher for your runner's lunge. You want to check in with that knee and ankle, make sure they're in alignment, pushing through that back heel. And then you can, these can become an extension of your arms if you choose. So you can inhale, we're going to step up to the top of the mat, bringing the blocks up. This is always uh, your choice. So inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, push into the earth and rise all the way up, hands reach. And exhale all the way down through center for a forward fold. That left foot steps back. And we're in a runner's lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes, and come up for modified crescent. Sinking into that left hip. Take an inhale, exhale, bring the hands down. And push back for split spread. Drawing those toes toward the shin, keeping that head. The chin is up so that the spine is kind of in a um, straight line. Because if we tend to tuck the chin, it kind of arches the spine and we don't get as good a stretch down the back of the leg. And we're breathing here. And again, if you want to grab your blocks here, if you need more space, you can do that, which allows you to kind of be um, over that leg a little more. And we're going to inhale, roll forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips and step back for down dog. Lifting those hips toward the sky. Inhale, lift the toes, reset the spine. Exhale, lower the heels. Look between the hands and step that left foot up for a runner's lunge. Again, grabbing your blocks if you need them. Aligning that knee and ankle. Holding here, nice, pushing down through the heel, a nice long stretch, straight line. And then inhale, step forward, bringing the blocks up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, push off the earth and rise. Hands meet. And exhale all the way down through center. And we'll inhale, step that right foot back. Drop that knee, untuck the back toes, and inhale up for modified crescent. Again, sinking down in that hip, stretching across the front of the hip bone. And take an inhale here and exhale, drop the hands, grabbing your blocks if you need them. Push back for splits prep, drawing those toes toward the shin. Again, trying not to tuck the chin, keeping the head up straight, the spine straight. And with an inhale, exhale, rolling over that leg, feeling that nice long stretch. You can have a small bend in the knee. You don't want to lock the knee out here. I'm here for a couple more breaths. And inhale, come forward. Come up on the back toes and step that left foot back. We're in down dog. Here we're going to roll forward. And you can choose plank or modified plank. If you choose modified plank, come down on the knees and lift the toes. But we're going to come from here and we're going to keep the elbows tucked in and we're going to lower all the way down to the belly. 
untuck the toes, and come up for a baby cobra. So we're pulling the chest through, the shoulders are back, elbows are tucked in, and we're breathing here. Take an inhale, and with the next exhale, lower the chest, push up to modified plank, tuck the toes, and come back to down dog. All right, so we're adding on here. So we're gonna inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, lower the heels. We're gonna inhale that right leg up for three point. And then we're gonna exhale, draw the knee into the nose and look between the hands and step the hand up for a runner's lunge. So from here, move your blocks kind of if they're in your way. You're gonna heel toe the foot out to the side and you can be here, you can put your blocks down to create more space if you need it, to bring you up to here. And we're gonna hold here. So you've got a long straight line, that back leg is engaged. You're dropping down, nice stretch on the inside of the leg. Now, if you need more or want more or want less, I'll start with less. So if you want less, you can drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and be here with your blocks. Okay, that's less engagement in the back leg. May create a little more stretch on the inside of the right leg. So you can be here, or you can come down to your elbows, or elbows on a block. So just kind of play with it and figure out what feels the best for you. I personally like my back leg up and on a block. And we're gonna be here for about five breaths, so just kind of play with it and then find some stillness. And you wanna feel a slight stretch, but no pain. So with your next inhale, wherever you are, um, if you need to drop the knee, go ahead and drop the knee and untuck the toes if you're already there. Just kind of bring yourself up and we're gonna move the blocks over to the side and heel toe that foot back into center. And then we're gonna push back for that splits prep. So again, stretching out the back of that leg, slight micro bend in the knee, toes are pulled toward the shin and the head is level, creating a straight line of the spine, drawing the ears away, the ears, the shoulders away from the ears, and then breathe in here. Two more breaths. And inhale up. Tuck the back toes, lift the back leg. We're in a runner's lunge and we're gonna step forward to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, the arms up. Big reach. And exhale all the way down through center. Step that left foot back. And the right foot joins and we'll roll out for that plank or modified plank, your choice. And then we're gonna inhale and exhale, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in, untuck the toes. And this time we're gonna come up for a little more intense, not intense, but a deeper cobra. So with the inhale, come up a little further. Breathe in, pulling that chest up and through so that you're not compressing the lower spine. If this is um, too intense for you, you can come back down for the baby cover. So just kind of play with it and you'll fit find your spot. And just one more breath here. And with the next inhale, exhale, lower the chest to the mat and push back for down dog. Inhale, lift the toes. 
Exhale, lower the heels, moving to the other side. So inhale that left leg up for three point. Exhale, knee to nose. Look in between the hands, step that left foot up for a runner's lunge. Grabbing your blocks if you need them. Heel toe that left foot over to where the toes are pointing out to the side of the mat. And then find your spot that's most comfortable. Each side will be different, so just kind of play with it. Again, you can be up on your toes with this right leg engaged, on your blocks, off your blocks, drop the knee, untuck the toes, whichever is most comfortable for you. And we're here for about eight breaths. Next inhale, slowly come out of this. Drop the back knee if you're not already there, untucking the toes, and then heel toeing that foot back to center. And with the inhale, exhale, push back for that split prep. Again, toes are drawn toward the shin. The back is nice and straight, shoulders away from the ears. And just check in and make sure you're breathing here and not holding your breath. And on your next inhale, roll forward, tuck the toes, come up to a runner's lunge, and then stepping up, we're in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and rise, big inhale, and exhale all the way down through center. That right foot steps back, and the left foot joins, and we're in down dog. And we'll roll out to that plank or modified plank, and lower down. This time coming up into a full cobra if it's accessible to you, or you could even choose to do up dog. So a full cobra, the arms are extended, the chest is pulled through. Up dog, you're lifting up on the top of your feet, your knees come off the mat, so it's your choice. We're holding here for a couple of breaths. Take an inhale, and with the exhale, lower the chest to the mat, and push back to down dog. Inhale that right leg up for three point. We're moving to pigeon, so inhale, knee to nose, and drop that right leg bent down in front of you. Modifications, grab your block, place it under your hip if you need some support there. Your right leg is bent, foot's flexed, the left foot is out straight behind you. Got the toes uncurled. So you can be here using your blocks to create space. We're getting a really nice long stretch on the outside of the thigh. Or you can, different variations. You can be here. You can move the blocks and come all the way down to the elbows. So just work with it and find a spot that's comfortable for you. I'll place my elbows on the block. And we'll be here for about six breaths. You can move the hips, kind of adjusting them to play with the stretch, and you can feel a different spot in the stretch. If you feel tightness, you can focus your breath, inhaling into that tightness, and exhale, allow it to release and sink a little lower. Three. 
three more breaths. On your next inhale, come up. If you've got a block under your hip, remove that. Set the blocks kind of over to each side. And we're going to lean over onto that right hip, pulling that left leg around. We're setting up for a tree on the floor. So pulling the right leg in wherever's comfortable for you, flexing the left toes. Inhale that right arm up and over. We're going to do a little twist here. So you're pushing up. You're not really sinking back into that arm. Pushing up on the fingertips so that you're sitting up nice and tall and straight. The left hand is on the outside of the right knee. Just twisting a little deeper with each exhale. Now with your next inhale, flatten that right hand. Bring the left hand over and we're going to pop up on our left toes so that our right knee is in cheetah, so knee to nose. And we're going to inhale that right leg up. Big, long line of energy from the head out the end of the heel, pushing toward the ceiling. And then we're going to look between our hands, and we're going to inhale, knee to nose, and exhale, place that right foot between the hands. Now, if you've got a blanket or a mat or anything, and you want to use it with your knee here, we're going to drop that back knee. Staying in this modified lunge here. Come up to where your shoulders are over your hips, and we're going to reach back and grab the ankle. Grab your pant leg or whatever you can grab. If you have a strap, you can use that. If you need your block on one side to help with stability, you can do that. You could wrap this around your ankle. My balance is not good today. And pull this way. So there's all kinds of different ways that this is accessible for everyone. So again, reaching back, checking in with your knee and ankle so we don't want to go forward past the ankle. And then we're here flexing that foot. Nice long stretch down the front of that leg and breathe. It's really hot in here. One more breath, big inhale and exhale, release the leg. Bring the hands down, come up on the toes for that runner's lunge. And inhale, step that left foot forward to meet the right. We're in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, the hands up. And exhale, hands to heart. We've been down for a little bit, so I'm going to stand right here for just a couple of breaths. the arms out and up and exhale all the way down through center we're going to step that left foot back and the right foot joins and we'll roll out for one last plank so we'll lower down choosing your vinyasa here so you can take baby cobra mini cobra regular cobra up dog your choice and then inhale and exhale, push back to down dog. We're moving to the other side. So inhale that left leg up for three point. Exhale, knee to nose, drop that left leg. The right leg goes out straight behind you. And again, if you need a block under your hip, place that there for support. 
grabbing your other blocks if you need them here. And we'll set up for pigeon on this left side. And again, we're here for about eight breaths. Make sure that your left foot is flexed to protect the knee. And again, moving the hips from side to side and different, kind of working it around and finding, figuring out where the deepest stretch is for you. And then focusing your breath, breathing in to that tightness and exhale, releasing a little deeper. Three more breaths here. Next inhale, slowly make your way up. If you've got a block under your hip, remove that and roll over onto that left hip and bring that right leg around. We're setting up for tree on this side. So bringing that left leg in, flexing the right foot. Inhale in that left arm up and over and the right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Again, on the fingertips, you're pushing up nice and tall and straight. With the inhale, you kind of grow taller, and with the exhale, you twist a little deeper. Two more breaths here. with your next inhale flatten that left hand bringing that right hand around we're gonna pop up over on that right toe bringing that knee into the nose and inhale that left leg up for a three point and exhale bring it in and step it between the hands we're in a runner's lunge and again grabbing your blanket block mat, whatever. Dropping that back knee. Setting up our foot here. Bringing the shoulders over the hips. Again, grabbing your strap if you need it. Your pant leg. Oh, our balance is going to be really off on this side. Block for stability. And we're going to reach back and grab that ankle, flexing that foot. And we're going to breathe here. I'm going to be here for about five breaths. So with your next inhale, to release that back foot with the exhale. Bringing the hands down, stepping that foot back. We're in down dog. And from down dog, we're going to be here for just a breath. Drop down to the knees, untuck the toes. Well, first, let's leave the toes tucked. And let's sit back on our heels with the toes tucked so we can stretch out the bottom of the feet. If you need space here, you can sit on a block. So you can take a block and place under your sit bones, allowing a little more space if you need that. So let's inhale up and exhale all the way down through center. Inhale up, big exhale. One last time, inhale up. And exhale, hands to heart. We're going to breathe here for maybe a couple more breaths. I know your toes are screaming. Mine are. Now 
let's untuck the toes. Stay in, in this seated position. Untuck the toes. If you still need your block, you're more than welcome to leave it there. But we're going to stretch out down the tops of the feet and out in front for those wonderful shin splints. So placing the hands with the fingers pointed toward the knees. Back as far as you are comfortable. So you may have to play with it. So we're going to be here and we're going to inhale, lifting the hips up, pressing down on the tops of the feet. And the shins. If you're just kind of tweaking your knees, you can spread the legs wider. And check in with your breathing. Next inhale, lower the hips, come back up to a seated. Remove your block if you have one and roll over onto either side of, come down to a seated position. And we are going to lower down onto the mat, grabbing your strap. So lower down onto your back, hug those knees in. Grab your strap, and we're going to place this strap around the ball of the foot, so just below the toes. Extend the left leg out, and slowly start to breathe here. And with each exhale, you're going to allow that leg to pull back a little closer to your head. Even though I don't run, I have the tightest hamstrings ever. So this always feels good. Two more breaths here. So at the next inhale, take the strap in your right hand Extend the left arm out, and then with the exhale, let the right leg drop open. Oh, in the way. Trying to keep that left shoulder on the mat, and then slowly pulling the right leg toward your head, I guess, or your shoulder. Slowly inhale that leg back up. Hug the knees into the chest. We're moving that strap from the right foot and slowly placing it on the left foot, extending that right leg out and then allowing the left leg to straighten as much as possible. And then start to breathe. Again, taking the inhales and with the exhale, allowing the leg to sink a little further in the stretch. Your next inhale, take the straps in the left hand, extend that right arm out to the side, the palm facing down, and with the exhale, allow that left leg to drop open and over to the left. Still continuing to follow the breath. Inhale and exhale, pull a little deeper. Inhale that leg back. 
back up to center. Hugging those knees into the chest, removing the strap, pushing it over to the side. We're done with it. And drop both feet to the mat. Take the right ankle and place it on top of the left knee and pull that left leg in for figure four. So you could be behind the leg, you could grab hold of the shin, you could be behind the leg and take the right hand and push that right knee away from the body while pulling the left knee towards the body. Just kind of play with it and find what's comfortable for you. On your next inhale, drop that left foot to the mat, keeping the right ankle on the left knee. We're going to move the hips over to the right and drop that right foot to the floor. So you're kind of still in a figure four. The right foot's on the floor and the left leg is on the floor. Take the left hand and push the right knee away from the body while you extend the right arm up and overhead and breathe into that right side body, that psoas muscle. Nice long stretch there across the front of the hip. And inhale, come back up. And we'll switch sides. So placing that left ankle on the right knee, pulling that right knee in. Again, playing with this side to figure out what's what works and what's comfortable for you. Drop that right foot. Again, keeping the figure four here, we're gonna slide the hips over to the left just a little bit and allow that left foot to drop to the floor and the right foot comes down on the mat. And then you're gonna take the right hand and push the left knee away and extend that left arm overhead. Breathing big into that left side. to center, uncross the ankle, hug the knees into the chest, maybe do a few hip circles to massage the lower back. And then release the legs out. We'll set up for Shavasana. So the feet just fall open. The hands are by the side with the palms face up. Take a nice big inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. And just slowly allow the body to release and rest here in Shavasana.
I encourage you to stay in Shavasana as long as you have time for. This is a really nice restorative restful pose and we all need to take a little more time for ourselves. If you're ready to end your practice for today, slowly start to deepen the breath. Returning to the present moment. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Maybe inhaling the arms up overhead. And reaching between the toes and the fingers for a long stretch. And slowly make your way to a seated position in your own time. your eyes closed or open, your choice. Hands can be on the knees, palms face down or face up to receive your choice. Take a big inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Allow your hands to come to heart center. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you, everyone, for joining in um, for our runner's class for today. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that it um, stretches out all your muscles that you tighten up as you run. And I wish one day I'd become a runner. Probably not, but maybe. Thanks, and have a great day.